composing gloves here. And this is the first video in Sound and Synth Basics. I'm super excited about this series. I hope you're excited. If you don't know anything about sound, if this is your first shot, then this is the series for you. I'm going to teach it. I've thought about this. I want a real solid series because as I get into more advanced things, I need people to understand the basics like how I know that I understand them. And so I've thought a lot about the concepts and orders that this has to be taught in. So I'm going to teach it in hopefully a way that will give you a comprehensive understanding. If you're an expert or if you're pretty well seasoned, you know, or you just know some stuff, this still might be worth watching for you because first of all, they're the basics. Everything you do is based off of a lot of these concepts. Now we're going to be talking about sound and synth. I'm going to have a separate series for digital audio, but it still might be worth your time. So this first video is, you know, what is sound and like, what is that thing? And a lot of people are going to start right off the bat. Like maybe you already thinking this, you're like, oh, it's an easy question. It's, you know, it's compression, refraction waves at certain rates in the air. And you can say, you just say all this stuff, but why that's all true, it's not like a super comprehensive answer, like for the beginner. So you were thinking about this thing called sound and we want a way to really grasp it, really get a hold of it. And so we're going to start off with the idea that sound needs a medium. That's like the very first thing you have to understand if you want to know about sound. So think of the ocean. So we have this thing, it's called the ocean and the ocean has all this water in it and this water can have no waves. So we can have like a flat ocean or it can have waves. And that's like a not flat ocean. So, and it's important to realize that different parts of the ocean can have waves while other parts of the ocean don't have waves. And so it's, it's a really interesting thing, this ocean thing we've got going here. So it's also mega important to realize that if we don't have any water, you cannot have any waves. And so the waves need the water. What does this mean? This means that we can now make the conscious realization that waves are just patterns of water. And you might have already been saying that, but maybe you've never like thought about it like this, that the water itself is the waves. It's like when we say waves, that's a human term that we've come up with an idea to characterize a pattern in the water. And so this can be transferred over sound quite nicely. Sound needs a medium. So if there's no medium, like if we have waves, if you can't have waves without water, just like in outer space, you can't have sound because there's no medium for it to travel through. But here on earth, we have this great stuff called air and we can form patterns in the air. And that is what you would associate with some sound. So it gets really crazy after this, but it's really important to understand this because you're, you're the very atmosphere that you're in can change things. Like if you're higher up and the atmosphere is thinner, that will affect the speed of sound, like how fast it travels. Uh, I want to put something to rest real quick too, because this became like a joke at a school I'm going to. That this guy tried to convince another guy that bass frequencies, bigger frequencies, we'll talk about this, are slower than upper frequencies. That's just a load of like that's just total a lie. So just so you know, all sound is the same speed. If you have a problem with unequal speed of sound, you've got weird atmospheric conditions. So for example, if uh. I've kind of I've kind of gone off on another direction. So we need a medium. And the thicker this medium is, the faster these waves can go through it. So sound will actually move faster through water. Now there's a whole bunch of other rules and sort of particulars that come out, but as a general rule, that's just what you want to understand is sound needs a medium and the medium matters. So if you're like doing a, a heavy dance uh, thing and there's a lot of people in your room and it gets really hot and sweaty and humid, that's going to change the way your sound transmits through that medium because your air has more water in it now. You'll actually get uh, more, higher fre uh, more higher frequencies. You'll get more higher frequencies, I guess. Uh, more high frequencies. There we go. More high frequency content in your sound. will actually sound brighter. And if you go over to like a summer fest in like Georgia, it's going to sound way different than the same festival in... Uh, in upland california where i live so southern california it's gonna sound super different and the live sound engineer has to be aware of these things he's gonna make adjustments it also changes how far your sound will go and a whole bunch of other things so this medium idea is really important that it needs a medium and that sound this is the other big takeaway sound is not like a thing like you're not like oh here have some sound like I, 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 here you go that's not how it works you sound is a pattern in something that already exists. The air is already here and we're simply organizing the air and we're going to call that sound when we see this pattern of organization. But you can't like have a separate thing called sound. And so that's it. That's all there really is for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe 
and have a blessed day. Opposing